guys, so today I have swatches of some more of the model's own polish for tans collection. There are five new polishes that were released into, and I think it's probably going to be like an ongoing kind of line or maybe just for the summer. I don't really know, but there were five previously released and I did review those a few weeks back and now I have the other five that were just recently released to review. These did come from livelovepolish.com, so I will link them down below and I'll get into the swatches. So the first polish is called Sarong Wrap and this is a sunshine yellow cream. So here's one coat. This one covers pretty well on the first coat for a yellow, but it is still streaky and a bit sheer. The formula feels really, really good though. Really smooth, really easy to apply. So there is one coat. So here is two coats. This one doesn't quite cover completely in two, but it is close. I still have some streaks though, and I can still make out my nail line, so I'm going to do a third. This is a little bit of a thinner formula than I'm used to. Comes to bright yellow, sometimes they can be really thick and not layer well at all, but this actually feels really good. So there is two coats. So here's three coats. This one covers completely in three, but I feel like if you work it too much, you could end up needing more than three. It built up really well on the first and second coats, but it's not covering as well as I thought it would on the third. I should say it's not covering as easy as I thought it would on the third. So there is three coats of sarong wrap. The next polish is called turquoise C, and this is a light turquoise blue. So here's one coat. This one covers really well on the first coat. It is nearly opaque in one coat. I just have some minor streaks. The formula is really good, really smooth. It might be just a little bit prone to running. Not much, but I think this would be one that's a little too easy to flood your cuticle with. But other than that, the formula is perfect. So there is one coat. So here is two coats. This one covers completely on two coats, but it was nearly opaque in one. This dries super shiny as well. So there is two coats of turquoise C. polish is called Cocktail Hour and this is a slightly brighter version of China Glaze Ready to Rave. You can see it's the same kind of neon orangey red but it is even a little bit brighter than the China Glaze one. So here's one coat. This one is nearly opaque in one coat. It's just got a couple streaks so I'm going to do a second but I'm really impressed with how well this covers. Fantastic formula as well. Super smooth, super easy to apply. Even with these caps, I don't really like using these wide caps because they're a little bit hard to hold, but even with that difficult cap, the formula is so good that it's still really easy to do a clean manicure. So there is one coat. So here is two coats. This one covers completely in two coats. I did have to turn my camera settings down quite a bit to be able to capture the color without it like blaring at the lens. But actually looking at this in person is actually like... I know I say eye searing neon a lot, but it's actually hurting my eyes a little bit. I think this is actually the first time I've ever had a hard time looking at a polish on my nails. I have kind of sensitive eyes anyway to light, but I've never actually like had to look away from my nails before. So there is two coats of Cocktail Hour. So the next polish is a Barbie Pink, and this is called Malibu Pink. So here is one coat. This one covers okay on the first coat. It still does have a good amount of streaks though, so it is going to need at least one more. The formula is super smooth though and really easy to control, so I'm hoping it will layer easily and be opaque in two coats. So there is one coat. So here is two coats. So this one does cover completely in two coats, but I think if you overworked it, just like with the yellow, you would end up with some streaks and you might have to add another. This wouldn't be an easy polish to overwork though, just because the formula is so smooth. So there is two coats of Malibu Pink. The next polish is called Beach Hut, and this is a bright neon orange cream. So here is one coat. This one also covers really well on the first coat. It's still a bit streaky, so it will need two, but for how bright it is, I was not expecting it to cover this well. The formula is just about the same as all the other ones in the collection. Super smooth, super easy to apply. So there is one coat. So here is two coats. This one does cover completely on two coats, but just like some of the other ones, if you overwork this, you could end up needing three. You could create streaks. This one does dry not quite as glossy as some of the other ones. This one's a little bit matte. So there is two coats of Beach Hut. So 
So my favorite in this collection is Cocktail Hour. This reminds me a lot of China Glaze Ready to Rave, but it's even brighter. Um, it's like a neon red. Obviously it's a little got a little bit of like pinky orange in it because you can't really have like a neon red, but I think it's as close as a neon red as you can get and I really really like this. I really loved it when Ready to Rave came out. I like this one even more because this is a little bit brighter. I just really like this kind of neon red thing that's going on lately. So that is the other half of the model's own polish for tans collection. Those did come from LiveLovePolish.com so I will link them down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this one and I will talk to you later. Bye!